Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, the 7th. So my stuff should be shipping to Port Plimpton, but that's my bed for the day. Again, third night. That's Dirk's DW's. So this is the KOO Hostel. So you have a nice set of drawers here with our hiker clothes, a little vending machine, two refrigerators, microwave, a nice shower and bathroom here, this side. Six months over here and an outside exit. And she closes the store up. Little sitting chair, charging stations, hiker graffiti board. Um, another full shower and bathroom. Video games don't work, I don't think, but it's got uh, six bunks here. A nice sitting area, a TV, which we didn't have watched yet. Well, good morning again. I'm sitting outside. It's 10, 10 in the morning. Uh, tried to take a little nap, which I think I fell asleep for maybe an hour. But uh, last 24 hours been the best. We got here yesterday. Uh, hiked in, spent the night. No, I'll take that back. I guess on Monday we hiked in here. Uh, spent the night. Tuesday we got up. After night, it's a good night stay. We hiked about eight point five miles, and that's where I fell. Uh, actually, did it almost like a Superman out. Luckily, I landed on my shoulder, my left side, in between the rocks, but my hip hit like a football-shaped rock that was probably about four inches, five inches sticking up. It hit my upper outside thigh on my left leg. So we hiked on out to the, out to the road, Peters Mountain parking lot, road crossing. And, uh, Said caught a caught a shuttle from a TV anchor man that was doing a story on hiker and heat and hydration and stuff like that. So drove us back here. So we went out to dinner at the pub called the Pub. Um, had some wings and a, a beer and uh, Rob uh, DW had a pretty big hiker burger and uh, beer too. And then, so we got back, got back here about nine and I, I fell asleep, woke up at like 11.30, went to the bathroom. Then about 12, 12, 15, I heard Pace and somebody walking around in the hostel. You know? And it was DW, he walked over, he says, he says, I'm having a hard time breathing. He says, I've got this pain in my stomach area. He says, I think, we're gonna need to call 911. So I immediately called 911. Tried to tell them where I was. I didn't have a street address. I had a street, but in the town. So they looked it up and said, okay. So uh, we walked around front. They came about 12.30 and took them to the hospital. So didn't really know what else to do. He said, no, don't, don't go with me, just stay here. And uh, I said, I'll get in touch with you. So they ran a couple of tests. Uh, he says, so the family has a history of gallbladder. So he thought that's kind of what it was. They did some ultrasounds and some other tests and uh, found out it wasn't much of anything. They were thinking maybe it's a little bit of acid reflux in the burger and everything else. All that stuff, and maybe with the, the gallbladder issue, with the grease and stuff, maybe it flared it up. So he called me about five and said they were Ubering him back here. And so he got here about 5.30. So we slept until about quarter to seven. And then went over to the little diner and ate some breakfast. And uh, we had a scheduled shuttle at eight. So I said, no, we're not hiking today. Taking another, we're gonna take a zero today that way I can kind of rest my leg. 
Uh, it didn't bruise up like I thought it would. It's very tender. Um, and once I start walking, it's okay. I mean, I'm still limping, but I could walk if I had to. But So it's going to give us an extra day here to recoup. Um, he can't sleep right now. So we're just kind of going to do some laundry, get caught up, get everything ready for tomorrow. And then uh, tonight, since it's Wednesday, one of the churches has a spaghetti supper for hikers. So we're going to do that. But yeah, that's the 24 hours. I mean, we were flying high thinking, you know, Pennsylvania is going to be ours. And all of a sudden it, it, sh it showed you. You don't own anything. You have to go by their rules. But, uh, so, within 24 hours, both of us injured. And like I said, the other hiker that was injured, he was hike, hiking into Duncannon and he fell. He had to walk about five miles to get here with that knot and gash on his head. So, be careful out there. Uh, we're going to have a nice day. And, uh, but I'm not going to show you a whole lot. Unless let's go go around if we go into the Doyle or something maybe. Because it was closed when we got, got by yesterday. And it's going to take care of ourselves. So it's going to be a short video. Might show the, the hiker feed tonight at the church. I don't know even which church it is, but we got a list up here on the board. So we'll probably do that and uh, stay on the night and hopefully take off tomorrow. So with that being said. Y'all take care. Be thankful for where you're at in your life. And uh, be thankful that uh, you're healthy. Because uh, it can turn in a heartbeat. So we, we both are. We're both just, you know, like I said, I think the trail provides. Like you said, I couldn't imagine it been in a, out five or six miles from the nearest town and trying to hike back in the dark, trying to get a ride into the hospital. So, you know. It is what it is. Uh, but he's doing good this morning. Feels good. No, no ill effects or anything. So he's just tired. I'm tired. I'm sore. And like I said, the lady here has been really nice taking care of us. So we appreciate that. So thanks for all the well wishes and uh, the comments. And uh, I'll keep you advised. All right. Thanks. Bye.